Do you guys want to see what is all in this box? It is completely full. So this is a haul from Cindy's Cozy Co. And at the end I have a couple items that go with some of her stuff from Zoe and Lilo's toy box. But the majority of this is from Cindy's Cozy Co. You can find her on Instagram. And she has her Etsy shop. Link will be down below. So let's dig into this box. So our first bed we have is a beehive bed. This is a prototype that Cindy made for us. This is the first time I'm opening it. And I'll definitely show you guys in a video with the piggies how it goes. So it's supposed to look like a beehive, as you can see, which it does. And inside she used a bee print. So that it looks like bees are flying around in there. And it has a flat back, so that that part can be up against the cage. So I think that looks absolutely adorable. So I will definitely show that in a video. And she sent us with a, two pads to put inside. What do you guys think? How cute is that? So next, we have a koala print cuddle cup. So this is a foam cuddle cup. There's foam in the bottom, all around the sides. I love how low it is in the front so senior piggies can hop right up in there and it comes with two potty pads. Really pretty. I love the green with that too. Next we have a koala couch. So again, it comes with the really pretty green and there's foam. And I think that's polyfill in the couch arms. And then two pads. She made a really nice couch. Next we have a bell couch. This print is just new. That I, Well, new to me anyway. How pretty is it? So it goes with this really pretty rose print. Both of which I found and picked out and asked Cindy if she'd make me stuff in it, and she did. I love Belle. I'd say Belle and Ariel are my two favorite Disney princesses. Next we have a cube. Cindy packs all of these super well. Because when you are shipping, it's best to fit everything in one box so shipping prices are lower. So she's got it down. So this is our cube with bell and the rose print is on the inside. Can you see it in there? Yep. And again, comes with pads. How beautiful. And we have another couch. And look how great she did with the placement of the print. This bell print is really large, as you can see. But she managed to get it onto the beds and the pads really nicely. So this is another cube. This one has, instead of the standard two openings, I had asked for four. So you, oops. So they can run right through. Sorry guys, it's just, it was all folded down. It'll get better once we stick it all up there. But yeah, how nice is that? So with these ones I like to put their wood logs on all different sides so that they can have fun making a tunnel system. Next we have a koala cube. This is one of my favorite prints. I just absolutely love the blue that's with it. This is so pretty. How cute. And there's uh, the pads for that one. So next up is a cuff tunnel. I love these so you can fold either end up. They're super warm and snuggly, especially for the skinny pigs. Really love those. 
And then this one is an open-ended snuggle sack, so it's the wider one, wider and a bit shorter. And I like these, I personally don't like to have boning in them anymore because I find that just ends up wearing through and poking through the fleece. So I prefer them without, all the pigs know how to get in them anyway, even if it like clamps down, they push it up and go in. So that's my personal preference, so I kind of like that there's no boning in here. We have a cage liner, so I'll show you this one. So we've got koalas on the one side. This is hard to get in shot. And otters on the other side. We have some just random sized pads. So she had a bit more koala left and asked if I would like some pads. There's already hay on there. Hay is everywhere in this house. So two that are kind of like a tunnel size. And then this is kind of like an oversized one by one or a bit small for a one by two. You can never have too many pads, that's for sure. And we have another cage liner. So this one is the lime green bees on one side and the cute koalas on the other side. Two of my favorite prints. And we have Another cage liner, this is Koala's, with the gorgeous flower print. I absolutely love these flowers. And we have yet another cage liner, again Koala's, with the happy bees. I love this bee print. Yeah, we have, again, another like this was just with a piece she had left. It's kind of between a 1x1 one one and a 1x2 of Bell with the roses. I just planted rose bushes this year. They're called apricot ones. So gorgeous. I know that's random. So this is a foam tunnel with the Bell and the roses. Super pretty. And it comes with the tun tunnel pads. Oh, and then here we have the little fleece forests. So these ones are one by threes. So those are what I lay over the cages. You guys will see them in my cages all the time for their little hide areas. How pretty is that? And next we have some 1x2 liners. So we have happy bees on the one side and the lime green bees on the other. Which bee print do you like better? This one or this one? And then we have koalas on a 1x2 with happy bee on the other side. We have lime green bees with yellow. That's a very bright yellow, so it matches perfect. We have koalas with the pretty flowers. So these are all one by twos right now. We have more that are koalas one side with the flowers, koalas, and the happy bee. Guess you guys could tell what my favorite prints are, can't you? And then we've got the flowers with lime and the lime green bees with yellow. Okay, we are down to our last three things from Cindy. So we've got otters with a happy bee. The otters are just one of my favorite prints. And we've got another otter with happy bees. Oh, I guess we have two more things I forgot. 
So we have the pretty flowers with lime. Pretty flowers with lime green bees. So those are all our things from Cindy, which aren't they gorgeous? And I do have two things to show you as part of a haul from Zoe and Lilo's toy box that kind of go with the stuff that Cindy made me. So Zoe and Lilo's toy box, she does tons of our liners. So she was able to pick up the bell print for me and also the rose print to do two by threes for me. Liners, getting them shipped from Canada, I mean from the US to Canada can be extremely expensive. So I was glad that Zoe and Lilo's here in Canada was able to make me up stuff to go with what I got from Cindy. And then she also did us a couple cuff tunnels, again with the roses and bell on the outside. So thanks very much guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And let me know down below what's your favorite print. And you can check out the shop links down in the description box so you can purchase from Cindy or Zoe and Lilo's toy box as well. Bye bye. If you like watching guinea pig videos, learning how to care for us, seeing product hauls or reviews, or really anything else guinea pig, please subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Down below I've left two more videos for you to pick from, so keep on watching!